barely four when he was scarred by abuse. There was terrible conflict between his mother and grandmother. When he knew that her husband was unfaithful with Jennifer Flowers, but thought he changed ten years ago. And she says his good traits outweighed his weaknesses. And she says that he wanted to protect her feelings when he lied about Monica Lewinsky. Meanwhile, Lewinsky is recuperating from minor injuries suffered today in an accident on a California highway. She told police she was driving home today in her sport ute when she reached to take something out of her purse. She lost control, crossed the median strip, and tipped over. Lewinsky suffered only scrapes and bruises, and she is back home tonight. More members of the military are refusing <coughs> to take the government ordered <coughs> anthrax vaccine. Have reported severe side effects from the vaccine. Dozens of fans, four policemen, were injured when fighting broke out at the soccer game in the Serbian town of Kajak. Rocks and stones were thrown, and police had to use water cannon to disperse the rioters. Four hours after it started, the match ended with two extensions, and it was tied at two all. Some very public beef eating going on in Britain today with open invitation barbecues. British farmers celebrated the lifting of a three-year ban on beef exports. That ban, you'll remember, was imposed by European regulators after an outbreak of mad cow disease. The embargo crippled Britain's beef industry. It lost sales estimated at more than $2 billion. Coming up next on Action News, Donovan McNabb finds his place in practice at Eagles training camp filled with sports when we come back. For a better internet experience, check out the new Pentium 3 processor-based PCs from Hewlett Packard today at Circuit City. The Intel Pentium 3 processor has interviews with Talk Magazine. A White House spokesman says the interview paints a positive portrait of the First Lady. About his infidelity, Mrs. Clinton is saying, I thought he had conquered it. She calls his actions with Monica Lewinsky a sin of weakness, not a sin of malice. She says the president needs to be more responsible, more disciplined. But she defends him as a very, very good man. The first issue of Talk Magazine hits the stands on Tuesday. And talk about coincidence. Today, Monica Lewinsky wiped out while driving along the California freeway. She was alone in her Ford Explorer when it flipped on its side near Ventura. Lewinsky suffered only scrapes and bruises. She was treated at a local hospital room and released. So far, no charges. Police are investigating the cause of that crash. On the news, 10 Health Watch at 11, researchers say they have found the key to stopping prostate cancer from spreading to other parts of the body. A new study shows the protein E. heterin acts like a glue, keeping the cancer cells stuck together in one area. The protein also stops the production of a destructive enzyme. The American Cancer Society predicts about 180,000 men will be diagnosed with prostate cancer this year. A local man says he took his car to be repaired only to be charged for a part that was never replaced. It was a nightmare for Luis Sorti when his car broke down over the Fourth of July weekend. Where did he take his car and how did the garage respond to the charges? Find out on the Consumer Watch tomorrow on News 10 at 5. Okay, parents, what do you think your kids are in for when you drop them off at a teen club? The News 10 investigators took our hidden cameras inside a local teen club to find out what went on for one night. And News 10's Karen Hep shows you what went on inside, raises questions like, does it look more like teen club erotica? It was a packed house one night in June at the Milk Bar Dance Club. Boys are licking whipped cream off a girl's exposed stomach. A girl takes off her clothes and dances around in a song. And dance partners are grinding into each other on the dance floor. You may think this is some kind of kinky strip club, but all of this is going on at a club for 15 to 20 year olds. The key is to bring the boys, right? The activity, the dancing, the dressing, um, 15 year olds walking around in bras and thongs. How did our hidden cameras capture this type of provocative activity at the no bar? Elizabeth, who doesn't want us to use her last name, couldn't believe what she saw at the no bar, so she called a new tenant. 